Hi, I'm Marilyn Harder, Pilates instructor and Pilates master trainer. I'm here today to help you find and activate your pelvic floor. So pelvic floor is one of those cues that many clients sort of smile and nod and say, okay, I'm activating my pelvic floor, but they don't exactly know how to do it. So I'm here to give you some imagery, some tips, some connectors to see if you can engage and draw in that pelvic floor. So first of all, what is that pelvic floor? The pelvic floor is the bottom foundation of your powerhouse. It is, let me show you the anatomical um, connection here. It is the sling of muscles at the base of your um, iliac crest. And there are three joints within that iliac crest. We have an SI joint on either side of the sacrum in the back and our pubic symphysis within the front. So sometimes we have an opposite problem in which our pelvic floor is too tight. So I'm going to teach you both about activating and also releasing that pelvic floor. So pelvic floor is engaged through narrowing your sits bones um, and drawing up into your body. So if you imagine the musculature you just looked at, we're trying to narrow the bones to draw everything up. So my first and favorite cue is to draw the sits bones together. So I want you to just take a moment. If you're not sitting on the peaks of your sits bones, go ahead and have a seat on the peaks of the sits bones. And your legs can be crossed, they can be extended, whatever feels good to you. And then I want you to see if you can draw the sits bones together. And as you draw in, you may feel a narrowing sensation like a gentle elevator lifting up into your uh, core. And then relax. For the women out there, often we're told to engage our pelvic floor by a Kegel. So a Kegel is really like a 500 pound bicep curl for that pelvic floor. Over time, it can cause um, opposite dysfunction of overactivation of the pelvic floor. So instead, if you can engage a pelvic floor through the Kegel, go ahead and try and engage that as much as you can, like your bicep curling 500 pounds, and then slowly start to release it. Try and release it to the point where you can almost not feel it anymore, and then exhale out completely, and notice how it starts to draw up inside you. That's where we want to engage the pelvic floor. If neither of these cues have worked for you so far, I'm going to give you another one. This one was shared with me um, by Tiffany in Katy, Texas, and it be has become one of my favorite um, imagery cues. So imagine that you're in a fancy restaurant and you realize you have to pass a little gas and you don't want anyone to notice. So you slowly start to slowly close that flow. Just gentle, it was just a little, not much pressure, right? Now you realize you have to go pee a little. And then so you want to slowly narrow and close your urethra and just try and stop barely that flow of, of pee. Now I want you to try and alternate and engage, try and stop and narrow the flow of gas and then narrow the flow of pee and then see if you can do them both together, drawing everything in and up. This one, I seem to get a greater activation. And for me, when I fully engage, it feels like my pelvic floor is smiling or a smile between my um, hip bones or my ASIS. All right, um, here's one more imagery cue that has really worked for me and, and hopefully it will work for you. Um, I'll say it two different ways. Imagine you are sipping up through a straw, except for the straw is dropped right down the center of you and exiting through that pelvic floor. And you're gonna take a nice big inhale in. See if you can draw it up. Some people can engage it on the inhale. Otherwise, exhale. Feel it draw up like you're sipping up or blowing out through the straw and as a result, that pelvic floor is lifting. Another imagery cue is imagine that you have a reverse waterfall. So white, bright energy is channeling up and out of you. So as you narrow the sits bones, you feel that energy flow coming up and through, drawing up, lifting that pelvic floor as it comes up and out. I've also heard imagine that as you narrow your sits bones, you're trying to create a nice drawing of a purse up and inside of you, like a drawstring, like we're trying to draw it up and in, tightening in through that space. 
Okay, finally, if none of those imagery cues work for you, but you're willing to do an exercise, this one is my favorite exercise. So you'll need a TheraBand, either a preformed loop or a TheraBand that you can tie around your legs and somewhere that you can put your um, feet on um, a couch, a box like I have, a coffee table, something of that nature. And we're gonna lay supine, which means on our backs. So I want you to lay down and find your um, heels on your elevated space. I like to do this in imprint so I can get a deeper connection. And then if you can't find it in imprint, find it in neutral. So if you watch my other videos, you know what thoracic tug of war is. So we're gonna exhale, blow out all that air completely. <sighs> Feel the ribs narrow from both sides and those shoulders back and down. Now, I want you to stabilize with the left leg and we're gonna slowly do a supine clam to the right with the right leg. And as you do, engage the glutes. And then slowly resist it back in. As the knee comes out, think about narrowing the sits bones. And even, you can press into the deep lower abdominals and try and push that area out against your fingers, bracing it, and then narrow the sits bones. Both of those are my at-home exercises for clients who are trying to engage the pelvic floor. Good, and I like to do 10 to 15 on each side and then see if I can get them together. The overall goal is to see if we can get that pelvic floor to smile. Okay, and last but not least, we talked about the opposite problem. If you have a really tight pelvic floor because you've been bicep curling it for years, you've been kegeling it like crazy, and you're having some maybe discomfort in the SI joint or some discomfort in the pubic symphysis, and you need to stretch it, um, they sell five inch playground balls at um, balancebody.com and you sit on it like you're laying an egg. Oh, I didn't grab my prop. So imagine a nice sized egg and you're gonna place it anatomically right where the pelvic floor muscles are. So if you're a gentleman, um, I'm gonna coin a term one of my um, favorite friends said, you're going to do the reverse of a drag queen tuck, move everything out of the way, and you're gonna be sitting on that playground ball behind everything. For women, you're gonna sit on it and the goal is to relax. This will stretch out that pelvic floor. Of course, you never want to do anything without um, a doctor's permission. So if you are working with a physical therapist or a doctor for some SI joint dysfunction or pubic symphysis dysfunction, do not proceed. Everything that you do is within your own caution and with doctor's um, advice and release. So with that, I'm going to leave you with activation and activities for your pelvic floor engagement. Thank you so much and have a wonderful rest of your day.